we waste so much of our time and our life and our energy on things that are just not in our control hey how you doing if you do not know who i am i am ray bay glam and i'm not even gonna address the obvious i've been living my life you guys i'm very real and raw i have a real job i have real issues i have real family real friends so when y'all see me disappear it's because i'm not feeling my best i'm not doing my best or i'm extremely busy so i appreciate the ones who allow me to be human and continue to come back to my channel because i'm only gonna be on here when it's real like i i know a lot of people um i gotta post something to keep the algorithm like i want my supporters to know that i appreciate your support i'm not trying to trick you into supporting me or you know what i'm saying or trick the algorithm or doing clickbait i feel like i just need to say that because there are a lot of youtubers that do so i appreciate the ones that actually want to be here and actually enjoy my content and actually just listen to what i got to say and if you are here and you already liking what i'm saying then why not subscribe and join the ray bay glam fam you see in my messy room i'm candid i'm open <laughs> and i want to talk about what i just said a lot of times we spend way too much time with things that are out of our control we worry about our jobs we worry about our boyfriends our husbands our kids what if they make this mistake what if this person cheat on me what if you know what i'm saying i'm not doing our best at my job or what if it's not enough and we harbor on that energy that negative that fear do you not know that fear is the leading cause to all of our spending overspending overthought overthinking over processing fear you think about it why do we have car insurance out of fear that we'll get into an accident and so we won't get caught slipping so we pay that hundreds of thousands of dollars a year just to get in an accident one time and have to pay a high as a deductible all i'm saying is fear is the leading drive to a lot of our issues we update our cell phones why why do we constantly update our cell phones to talk to the same people that we said we don't like talking to anyway out of fear that we'll be left behind that out of fear that we won't keep up with the joneses or somebody gonna jone on us because we got the iphone 11 or iphone 12 or maybe you don't got iphone at all y'all see that samsung iphone debate so baby a phone is a phone if it dials it's doing its mother job in my opinion i'm mm, mm. All I'm saying, I'm trying to connect you all to see how fear plays a huge role in the way we overthink, the way we continue to harbor on things that are out of our control. Fear is also the main culprit in making us not pursue things that we know good damn well is in our heart. We know that from the moment we were birthed, that this is what we wanted to do. Or it may stop you from talking to that person that you want to talk to. Maybe a platonic friendship, maybe a romantic relationship. Fear, fear this person may not perceive you as well. This person um, may not like you the same way you like them. Fear that you may not be as good as the other people that are doing what you want to do. That's stopping you from doing what God put you here to do. He didn't say he was going to be perfect at it. He gave you the talent. Over time, you're going to gain skill, but if you don't even give yourself the chance, if you don't even pursue your talent or pursue that person or pursue that job, you will never know what it feels like to get what, exactly what you deserve because out of fear, you tell yourself, no, it's okay. Or like with me, I'm a YouTuber. I'll say, oh no, there's so many beauty content creators, there's so many relationship talkers, there's so many advice talkers on YouTube. Why me? Why me? Baby, why not you? Why not you? I'm going to hold your hand when I say this. That your biggest obstacle, your biggest op is not your enemy. It's not even your friend. It's the person that's watching this video right now. Can't nobody stop you but you. Only you tell yourself when you're done. Only you can do that. I'm not saying that you're not going to face obstacles or things won't be difficult when you're following your passions. 
All I'm saying is when you allow those obstacles to stop you following your passions, then you are the sole reason why you are not getting what you deserve out of this life. You can't blame it on God. You can't blame it on the universe, the crystals, your horoscope. God, leave. I wish I was something. You can't blame it on nobody but yourself because only you, only you can prevent forest fires. Only you can stop you. Nobody is putting a time limit on your pursuits or your dreams. That's what social media does to y'all. Social media says by 30 you should have this, by 40 you should have this, by 50 you should have this. Who the hell, who are they? They are normal people that eat, piss, and shit just like you do. How are they able to validate and put a time scale on what you supposed to be doing in your life? We ain't in no rush, baby. There is no rush. All I'm saying is, if you start putting unrealistic time slots and time goals on your goals, on your journey that you and God has to be on, you're going to be totally disappointed. Baby, I ever think I'll be single and not married and not in a house at 36? No. Did I ever fantasize about being something at a certain age? No. Because I knew at a young age, my parents taught me at a young age that you can only do so much and then God's gonna carry you through the rest. I've done what I'm supposed to be doing. So maybe God's saying not now. He's not saying you're not gonna be married. He's not saying you're not gonna get that house. Maybe even a kid, he's saying not now. And the problem is a lot of y'all don't like the answer that he's giving you. So you take matters in your own hands and then what typically happens is when you force stuff, it ends up being like now you got the baby, but now you ain't got the baby father. But he's like, oh, I'm glad I got a child. But if you would have done things the right way, if you didn't rush his time for you, then maybe you would have the husband, the child, the ring, the marriage, the whole shebang. But because you couldn't wait on God, because you told God, okay, I hear you out. I'm praying to you. I'm praying and I'm crying. And I know that's joy in the morning, but right now it's in the middle of the night and I want what I want right now. So let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and just help you out, God. Like he needs your help. You telling him what you gonna do. Oh, he said, okay. Cause see, he ain't gonna force you to do his will. That's one thing God ain't gonna do. <laughs> one thing God ain't gonna do it, baby. He ain't gonna force you, yeah, baby. If you wanna do it, do you. But don't come running back to me and blaming me when things go south, and that's what a lot of y'all be doing. Soon when you don't get that job, when that marriage falls apart, you know what I'm saying, whatever the case may be, it's like, oh, well, that's what God probably wanted. Baby, he didn't want you to be with him in the first place. He told your ass to run. You thought that meant run to him. You seen them red flags, and you said, okay, six flags, let's go. <laughs> Baby, all I'm saying is, we are at a time of knowledge and self-awareness and you got to look at yourself in any situation whether it be a loss of job loss of friendship loss of relationship you got to look at yourself and say what have i done what has i what have i done to cause the demise of this friendship the cause of the demise of this job the loss of this job the demise of this relationship if you cannot if you can, if you put like this, if you can say five reasons why that person lost you or what they did to you, you should be able to do say 10 things about what you've done to lose them. If you cannot double up and say, okay, here are five reasons why this job, I, uh, why I got fired from this job. If you cannot double up on that and versus saying, this is five reasons why I left this job, you need to have 10 reasons why you lost the job. If you cannot self-reflection, if you cannot do, that's half the battle. If you cannot do that, then you don't need to open your mouth. You don't need to be talking about why your relationship failed because he did it, because she did it. Well, babe, what did you do? Cause I guarantee you, they tell me everybody about what you did. So you was a perfect angel? To my ladies, to my ladies, we always talk about how men be fumbling the bag and how, you know what I'm saying? like. We were perfect women, so that all y'all was perfect. So everybody was wife material. Everybody was doing the right thing. Everybody was everything. We were just all the man fault. All I'm saying is we cannot continue to put the blame. We can't put the ball and the blame in these people's court. 
it has got to, you have to have some self-reflection. Like I said, that is only half the battle. Because after self-reflection comes pain. Because, bitch, the shit's going to hurt. It's going to hurt you because not only are you being real with yourself, a lot of the things you're reflecting on that got you there is a part of you. It's a part of you. So nobody likes to be told that they're wrong. I don't care who you are. Nobody, even children, babies that have, they don't even know too much about life. They do not like being told they're wrong. They don't like being told no. They don't like, nobody likes being told that, okay, maybe something that you need to work on yourself. Nobody wants to be told they need to work on something, especially when you feel like your actions are justified by things that's happened to you. That's what, how many times I hear this? How many times do we hear that people toxic mannerisms is based off what somebody's done to them? Or, or let's do what the world is doing now. My toxic traits are simply because I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Capricorn. I'm an Aries. We are too old. I mean, it's not even throw age in the but You ain't never too old to be ignorant. But we are too well versed in life, or we should be, to be blaming our personal convictions on the day and the month we were born. I don't care what you believe in. I don't. Care. I don't believe none of that stuff. All I'm saying is. I don't care if you're atheist, Buddhist, Catholic, nudist. I don't care. We are too old to solely be blaming our personal traits on the day we were born. Are you be fucking for real? That is one of the biggest ways to avoid accountability. You mean to tell me you lost your car because you're a cancer? You mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that you can't hold an intellectual conversation because you're a Scorpio? So that's what the shit be pissing me off. That's what be pissing me off about the internet. Cause then you get every Scorpio in the bottom like, yeah, man, I be trying to, I be trying to talk real stuff, but I'm just so sexual. It's a Scorpio in me, or you know we some freaks. Bitch, if you don't go read a fucking book and get the fuck off this, y'all, this is what y'all do, this y'all do, another thing y'all be doing, I'm sorry, I'm going on a rant, another thing y'all be doing, instead of fixing your behavior, you be finding these dumbass memes to validate your behavior and you sharing it, bitch, get off the field, get off the internet, go fucking get some goddamn therapy, quit trying to, you up here searching how to get back a man, how to get back at a girl, or why hoes ain't, all shit, well, baby, baby, log out, Log out. Because every woman is not a hoe. Every man ain't shit. And you need to log the fuck out. And everybody who's agreeing with you ain't been on their their, their self-help journey, which you should be in. Because at the end of the day, uh, a man can't do nothing to you that you don't allow. I know y'all hear that all the time. It's easier said than done. Actually, it's really not. We make dating really difficult. Because, bitch, if you start seeing some stuff that you don't like... And then in your brain, this is the moment where you can choose to stay or stick around. You tell yourself, everybody is not perfect. Let me stick around and see if he's going to change. That's what most women do. Most women say, I know I'm not perfect. Everyone is not perfect. So if I continue to deal with him, maybe he will realize the error of his ways and I love him so much and he's enjoying all the love I give him that he will just stop. That is the most ignorant piece of shit I've ever heard. Not only he is not going to stop, he's going to expect you to keep doing the same shit, keeping the same energy while he's shitting on you, while he's fucking you over, while he's doing the things that you're praying that he doesn't do. You up here praying to, you praying to God, God, please take all this negative stress and energy away. And he keep trying to take that man away from you. He keep trying to take that man. You praying for your stress to be alleviated. God said, okay, bet, I got you. Let me get rid of this nigga for you. You be like, no, not this one though. Baby, that's your problem. Do you know a lot of y'all women will be further along in life if you weren't with a man that was holding you back? Sometimes you sleeping with the ops. And the same thing with you men. You men, you men, you men, you men. I know that 
a lot of y'all want to have a leader personality you want to show a woman you know some type of leadership you want to help her along in life but baby there's a difference between uplifting a woman and taking care of a woman raising a woman okay your person your partner your wife your husband will be your greatest asset besides your kids if you don't get that right baby you will never reach your full potential if you are with the wrong person right now you'll be okay god gonna see you through a lot of stuff but you ain't gonna never meet your full potential you'll never meet your full potential you may think you do but baby when you are with the wrong partner baby they hold you back in ways one of them is in vision bitch because you can't see it. You can't even see that you are being held back from your own potential because this person, oh, Johnny needs this, oh, she needs this. And then, baby, before you know it, you're saying, okay, I'm not going to go back to school now because he needs this. And then once he gets what he said he needed, then, oh, well, I can't go back now because never And before you know it, you be 30, 40, 50 years old still trying to go back to college not like there's nothing wrong with it all i'm saying is 10 years ago 15 years ago you could have finished your degree and got finished with that nigga and i know a lot of y'all might be thinking oh well, what about having grace and what about having you know understanding and patience it is one thing to be patient it is one thing to have grace but it is another thing to just be at a standstill because of fear that you will never find someone else because of fear that you spent so many years with this person you spent so much time with this person you didn't put this person all on your tiktok your ex your twitter exes twitter facebook and stuff and now you embarrassed that to say that your relationship has failed a lot of y'all relationships is together the glue is instagram y'all glue in y'all relationship is your kids the glue in y'all relationship is Facebook. The glue in y'all relationship is other people's animosity and jealousy. It's not because y'all really good for each other. It's not because you love each other. Because you're trying to show somebody off. You're trying to say, okay, I'm going to prove them wrong. But baby, proving them wrong is killing you. A lot of y'all, I'm 36 years old. A lot of y'all look my age and worse. A lot of y'all think I'm in my 20s because you all, you, you 20 year old somethings, is dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety that you should not be doing is making y'all look old as hell baby ain't enough beauty cream ain't enough collagen ain't enough retinol to undo dealing with a man or a woman that is not for you the only way you gonna get your life back is you get your life back and i didn't want this video to be this long i just want to come in here and show y'all and just talk to y'all how i talk to my friends because I was talking to my friends earlier and they was like, man, you should be recording this. I'm like, okay, I'm going to talk to my YouTube, talk to y'all like I talk to them. And it's just what I'm doing. So I didn't want this to be real long, but all I'm saying, I'm a ranter and y'all should know this about me. And that's what I be doing with my friends. So that's why the video is long as hell. All I'm saying is we spend way too much time on things that's out of our control. Baby, the day gonna, at the end of the day, they're going to end. And then they're going to be tomorrow. And the next day. And the next day, and the next day, all I'm saying is you can only do so much. We are holding on to things that God sometimes trying to pull apart. And it's you're not even gonna be with this person. You're not even gonna be at this job. You're not even gonna be at this. What are the, what, all this stuff that you, you're stressing about and worrying about it is not gonna be in your vicinity two years from now. Two years, two months from now for some of y'all. All I'm saying is if you if you are worried about tomorrow you are robbing yourself from the joy you can have today you are upset that you don't have a house so you sit in your well furnished utilities paid food kept apartment and just hovering all day long not realizing that you have a blessing right here there is somebody Right now on the streets, they wish they had what you have, but you so concerned about what you don't get. You want this house in Carmel or Fishers or whatever the case. You want this big house. And right now, baby, all you guys are two-bedroom apartment. And you just looking at everybody. It's like, oh, Lord, my life is just terrible. We all on Instagram scrolling, being like, oh, she ain't number 21. She got her a, a quarter million dollar house. And here you are just like, damn, I'm 45 years old in two-bedroom apartment. Baby, get off the internet. Comparison is the biggest thief of joy. 
Comparison is the biggest thief of joy. And I'm here to tell you right now is if you if you may heard this a million gazillion times, today is today, tomorrow is tomorrow. You may be in that two bedroom apartment for today. You may be there for the rest of the year, but it does not mean that's your permanent place of residence. You may be in a terrible relationship right now. It does not mean that will be your final relationship right now. Only you can change that. Only you can change that. But if you're concerned about where you are right now, you make up a plan execute that plan don't take your foot off the plan and you go on about your day you have to find joy in the struggle or you're going to continue to struggle i'm gonna say that again you have to find joy in the struggle you can't just be looking at the prize and being happy about the prize the path to the prize you have to love that too you gotta love that too and in the midst in the meantime of you going through your struggle to your prize, you got to be thankful. Because let me tell you right now, I'm the first one to tell you, baby, it can always be worse. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. And I know I'm speaking to somebody right now. You may not want to say who you are. You may not want to come and you may not even like it. I don't care about the likes that y'all can see. I don't care about the damn likes. I don't care about the comments. I appreciate y'all coming in, but I'm not ever discouraged if there isn't. I know you see me. I know you feel me and you subscribe. So you hear me. Take care of yourself. Stop worrying about the little things and enjoy the big blessings that God already has for you right now. Anyway, I just had to say that I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching me. Thank y'all for subscribing to me. Share this video to somebody who needs to hear the truth. And uh, y'all know, I'm going to come with it. When I'm coming, I'm coming. I love y'all so much. Take care of yourself. Bye.